Welcome back to the show. We are back inside. Yeah, teeth are clear. If you missed that, he just put an entire baguette and caprese salad in his head. It's not a caprese. The price was right, so I went for it. Joining us now is Dan Matthews. Thank you for Hi, being here. Hey, no problem. Thanks Dan, for having me. Dan, you're a photographer. Yes, I am. With an interesting background. Uh, I guess you could say that. Uh, for the past uh, like pretty much two decades, I've been serving in the Canadian Armed Forces. Uh, I started with the infantry out in Petawawa with the 3rd Battalion Royal Canadian Regiment. Uh, and then after my deployment in 2003 to Afghanistan, I came home and I changed trades to military intelligence. Yes, Dylan, it's an oxymoron. <laughs> 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 and and I've been with them ever since. Um, I was injured in Afghanistan. My patrol I was on was Sergeant Short and Robbie Berenfinger. Okay. Uh, we were the first ones to encounter an IED attack against Canadians in which they passed away. Uh, from that, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. And I've been dealing with it for the past, well, God, for like 14 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm on on my way out the door or retiring from the military. I went back to school for two years at Algonquin College uh, for photography because I figured I want, I want to do something for me for once mm -hmm. instead of having someone telling me what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a big thing for a lot of us in the military. It's like well, eventually we want, want to reclaim that small bit of ourselves again. Right. And I've always enjoyed photography, and uh, I figured, why not give it a go? And yeah. how did you decide what to stream in, and, or what type of photography to go into? Uh, that, that, actually, that's the kind of cool thing about Algonquin. They expose you to everything, so you can actually, over the course of two years, you can choose which path that you want to follow. You oh, okay. do, you do portraitures, you do commercial. Uh, you, there's all kinds of uh, video editing that you have to do. Um, still life black and white there's the gambit is unreal and mm -hmm. a lot of people think oh you pick a camera up you push the button you take a picture but there's a lot more to it you've got to actually adjust for lighting you got to plan for light you got to look at your subject and how it's going to work um, you even before you even get to that stage you got to think what do i want it, this to actually look like in the end mm -hmm. so yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's a huge beast to take on, especially when you're trying to do something like a live event or even when you're doing someone's wedding. Mm -hmm. Weddings can be challenging because you don't want to be interrupting the service at all. You actually want right. to be invisible when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. so. And not to mention you want to please your, your exactly. clients, right? Exactly. Yeah. So let's let's go back a little bit, though, before you actually got into I mean, look at the photos that you've been taking over the past oh. year or so, and they're nice. exceptional. And, and, and it must have been quite a transition, though. First of all, thanks for your service. That's <laughs> incredible, everything that you've done for our country. Thanks. And I I know you well, so we're like we're buddies off off screen oh, yeah. here, and I know that you're very humble, and I know True. that you, I know you don't like to talk about your services much too because of what happened, and I and I respect that. So, but your transition from military life to photography clearly two oh, thousand percent different things. It was a huge shift. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, being forty five, almost forty five, going back to school. And dealing with a bunch of twenty-somethings, it was uh, quite the experience. <laughs> it it yeah. was a shocker because I'm very much coming out of the military. You're very regimented. You're very okay. You go from A to B, no deviations. But going back to school, well, you go to A to B, but A to B. But sometimes you have to go around a certain way to get there. And there's different types of personalities you have to deal with. And you know, being older, I don't want to have to be anyone's dad or anything else like that. But it happens sometimes that you know someone wound up taking me aside. Hey, look, you gotta take it down a notch. You're kind of intense, and I'm like, <laughs> well, yeah, I get it. Yeah. And but it's it's a sense of urgency that I, I I I've always had that I need to try and be the best at it mm -hmm. to be good at it. Of course. Which is Dan, good. you brought uh, some props with you. Yeah. Do you want to show us what? Uh, sure. I well, this is every every photographer's. Uh, office on the go which is their camera backpack it's their camera bag yeah so in my camera bag what i usually what they're i they're quite heavy right they yeah, yeah. can be yeah. they can be depending on what you have in it so in my camera bag i have my camera and my trusty uh 70 to 200 millimeter lens which is great for doing it's a serious lens <laughs> yeah it's not bad here i am hold yeah, so this is quite heavy yeah so I uh, use that for doing sports or okay. when I'm at, at weddings, so I'm not actually in in the scene. Yeah. I can I can bring it in Something. very 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 tight, mm -hmm. and the lens caps on Dylan. 
<laughs> yeah, and you don't actually have to look into it anymore either, too, because it's like right in front of you. But there are those cameras where you just yeah. smile, and then it automatically, automatically catches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, quality yeah. probably is questionable, but yeah. <laughs> so I use that for sports and uh, weddings and things like that. Okay. Then I have a bunch of other lenses. I have a twenty-four seventy, which is great for wide angles to okay. closer up, but it's not as close as this one. This is really nice when you're doing some. It a pinch portraitures and things like that, which are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And can I say too, because we only have a minute left, yeah. I mean, the reason why photographers sometimes, obviously, they have prices, they have packages, is because yes. this stuff isn't cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap, but it's not necessarily the, the, the equipment. It's what you're paying for is the person's time, mm -hmm. their experience, and also the, the feel that you get from them. It, it's, the photographer has to make the person feel comfortable because you're, you're, you're exposing uh, an intimate part of yourself to this yeah. person to capture and then to give back to you and, and, and to interpret that it's something that you want. Definitely. Okay. Uh, Dan, you have an upcoming show. Yeah. I just want to touch on no, that that's before fine. we leave. Yes. Uh, I'm happy to say I actually have my first art show coming up on August, August 18th at, uh, with Raw Artist at, okay. their, at the Ritual Nightclub. And if you go to the, their site, Raw Artist, I have my own page, and you can buy tickets there, twenty dollars each. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here. I need, I need to just give a quick plug about this guy though too, because he's helped me out. You helped me with my Max Keeping Chio Foundation yes. event. Yes, and I know, the photo booth. Yeah, yeah, and I know that you've helped out our producer Daniel Allard many times. Yes, I have. He's an Ottawa musician, mm -hmm. and I can't say enough good things about you. Helped us a boom with our Christmas party. Yes, this guy is just what you see here is the real deal. It's what I mean, you get from his service to mm -hmm. the size of his heart. He will definitely. Uh, take care of you. So Dan Matthews Photography, find him out. Thanks so out, find out more about him online Thank you. and uh, you can hang out with a with a real man if you hire him. Simple as that. Or we'll like that? Yeah. Sure, that sounds <laughs> good. We'll go with like, that. We'll just, we'll just <laughs> go with that. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, go with, with that. that. Yeah. Sure, why not? We'll man. be back with some more on daytime. We've got Good Life Fitness City Chase Race up next. Stay tuned. Lenscat.